is up everyone it's supreme guru here and i'm back with another video in this video we're going to be looking at the google play store so if you are new to android and you're not quite sure on how to download apps or games for your android device then i would suggest that you stay tuned to this video okay guys so what we're going to do first of all is we are going to go to our google play store so i'm just going to type in my search bar here Play Store and it's this one here. Okay, so this is what you're greeted with. Now, what I will say before I get into the nitty and gritty of the Google Play Store is that for you to be able to download an app or a game from the Google Play Store, you would have needed to add a Google email address, so a Gmail email address to your phone. I have already done that. If you need a video on how to set that up, then throw that down in the comments section below and I will be sure to make a video on that. But I've already got my Gmail logged in. So I'm just going to go through um, how to basically use the Google Play Store. So from the very top uh, bar here that you get where it says Google Play, basically that's your search bar. So that's where you put in the name of the application that you want to download. So if you already know the name of the application, you basically tap on that and you would type in the name of the application so just for this tutorial purposes only i'm going to type in bbc and you see whenever i type bbc it gives me actually suggestions of what i may be looking for which is quite handy i'm looking for bbc news so i'm going to click this third one down bbc news okay so there you can see bbc news now it shows up at the very top of my search i just need to tap on this and then it gives me the option to install so again, we'll install this application and I'll show you how easy it is to use. So I'll hit the install button and now you can see that it is downloading. And you can see just underneath there, it says verified by Play Protect. So basically that's a legitimate application that you're downloading. Google Play recommends it. They're happy enough for you to use it. I would always look out for this here if you are thinking of downloading an application because I see a lot of people nowadays are downloading applications um, say for example photo filters for their phone and stuff like that there and it ends up actually um, mucking up their phone a good bit so keep an eye on that there so there you can see now uh, BBC News is downloaded so if I go into my applications here BBC News is on the right hand side and I can go in and access the application okay now, say for example you want to uninstall the application maybe you actually didn't want that there's a few different ways of doing it but because we're actually looking at the google play store i'm just going to go back and i'm going to type in bbc news so i'm going to find the application you can see here that it's installed i'm just going to tap on it and then i'm going to hit uninstall do you want to uninstall this app i'm going to hit ok so that was bbc news uh, that was a free application how i know that it's free is basically it didn't ask me for any payment options so there was no price or anything beside that so that's the first way that you can search for an application um on the top search bar you also get this little microphone so basically i can speak into it so bbc news and it will automatically pick that up that's just for the lazy people who basically don't want to type in what they're looking for personally i find it quite handy uh, so you can do that also um so we'll go back there so on the main page we have got home games movies and tv music books newsstand so if i go back here to games that's where you'll find all your games so you can get um we'll go into the subcategories in a wee bit but that's where you would download your games from movies and tv so if you want to buy a movie or a tv show or anything like that there you can go in and do that and as you notice there are prices beside those um movies that are in there so you can see that you would have to pay for that music again um, this is where you can download your music from so whether you want the latest song that you're loving at the minute you can go and do that and you can search for it or you can go to um, albums and actually download the whole album books you can download books for you to read on your phone or your tablet and then newsstand is basically the way that i sort of put it is like a virtual 
newspaper uh, for your phone. So you can see there, like you can get the Independent, the Telegraph, so on, and uh, magazines. Forgot to mention that, so you can get you know the latest magazines. So if you are wanting to go into the digital world and not actually have all your magazines lying about the house, you can download it actually onto your device and um, read it there, which is very handy. Okay, so go, we'll go back here to home and below that then you can see the top charts. So that's basically the top apps that people are searching for on the Google Play Store. Then you can go to top games. Again, it's the top games that Google Play are uh, picking up from searches. Top grossing, top trending, top selling, top selling games. Okay, so you can go through all those. I'm just gonna come back out of there. Then you can go to categories. Uh, I like this so it actually breaks it down a bit more for us. So say for example, we're looking for, I don't know, something to do with photography then we can go down here and tap on the photography um, category and then that will bring up all the photography applications that you can download for your phone. Now wh what you will note is, say for example I click on this here, you notice here, actually where did it go, yeah so you notice this here 4.7, basically that is the rating um, out of 5 that people have given this app so it seems like a pretty good rating. 32,000 odd people have actually downloaded this and then you can read the reviews of what people think of it. So again, that's quite handy for you to do. Whenever you go into an application, it gives you a brief description as you can see here. Um, and then you can also go through the screenshots of what the application may look like. Okay, which again is very handy to get a better idea of what you're actually downloading. So we'll come back out of that, come back out of that, and we will also come back out of that. Editor's choice, so basically this is Google um, showing their top rated applications that they are loving at the minute. And you will find a lot of great applications in there. So, you know, you've got a lot of categories there. So uh, five cooking apps that take the cake, so you can go in here and it'll give you a breakdown of the applications. Um, it's something I like to check out every now and again, you know, just to see what is trending, what's going good for the application world. Uh, early access, so basically this is applications that are trying to make it um, and it will give you an option to early access this application to see if it is good. Um, if it is good, then, you know, it will basically be put as a permanent application into the Google Play Store. And then family, so that there is for family applications uh, for your kids. So pretty handy to have, you know, learning apps for children. It's really very good. I like the layout of it. And you can see along the top here. So you've got ages that you can click on. So ages over nine. These are the applications that are being recommended to us and then if we come out of there come out of there come out, oh didn't mean to hit on Peppa Pig okay so that's the breakdown um, of the main screen on the left hand side here we will get a lot more options so you can see there at the top that's the Gmail email address that I'm using if I tap on my apps and games this will show you that I've got a lot of updates waiting and I can update them uh, if I just hit the update all button, I can scroll across and see all of the applications that I have installed at some point in my life. The library of applications. Sorry, I, I, I tell a lie. So that's all the installed ones that I have on my phone. So I have 102 applications on my phone, which is a bit crazy, but there you go. Library is the ones that I have installed in the past that I maybe didn't like, so I took it out again. And beta tester, uh, beta stands for um, basically you're a tester for the application. So whenever Gboard uh, roll out uh, an update, basically you get to see the update first and you can uh, see if it's good or not. So that's just that. And then if I click on this again, I have then an option again to go into those games, movies, music, blah, 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 blah. I can go into my account. I can go into my payment methods. So in there, 
you can select what way that you want to set up your payment method. So whether it be a credit or debit card, whether it be a Google Play voucher, whether it be added onto your bill, you can go into that. Then we have a family option. So sign up for family library. So I'll show you what this uh, looks like. So basically, if you sign up for this here, basically you can share your stuff with other people in your household. So whenever you purchase an app, game, book, movie and TV shows, you can share it up to five members and there's no sign up fee. So that's pretty cool. Uh, manage your family's purchases. So basically you can set up a payment method. So say for example, I'm the main person in the house and I want to share my applications but I want to take control of the payment method, then I can set that up in my name. And then if you sign up for Google Play Music, again, you can share and stream um, songs and albums to your family and they can enjoy all that good stuff. Subscriptions, as you can see, I have no subscriptions for this account. I'm not signed up to anything. Rewards, I have no rewards in there. Sometimes you get rewards coming in for being a Google user, I guess, for Android. Email preferences. So I wish to receive emails with news and offers from Google Play. Hell no, I don't want that in my option. And then order history. You can see here, these are the ones that I have purchased in the past. And that's all that's in the count. Then we can go to redeem. So if I have a Google Play voucher, basically I type in the code there, hit redeem, and that will go to my Google Play account and I can spend that willingly. Then if we go to wish list, so you can pop on um, items that you have took note of that you maybe want to download at some point. They go in there. Don't know why any of those are showing up there at the minute, but there you go. Um, Play Protect. Google Play Protect regularly checks your apps and device for harmful behavior. You will be notified of any security risks found. Okay, so, and you can see the recently scanned applications. It's, it's scanned all of my applications. Looks fine, no harmful apps found. Scan device for security threats. This is a new thing that um, Google have, have brought in and I think it's really, really good uh, to get that to scan your applications every now and again. Um, we'll come out of there. And lastly, we will go into our settings. So this is the nitty and gritty to the Google Play Store. So notification settings, uh, notify when updates for your apps are available. I don't mind getting that. Notify when Play automatically updates your apps. Again, I don't mind getting that. Pre-registration. So basically notify when you can pre-register for new games that we think you'll like. I don't really play games on my phone, so I keep that off. Notify when there are offers that we think you would like. You can keep that on. Um, I, I get it's, It is a good option. You know, so say for example, a paid application is on a promotion that you may have been looking at in the past or you may have similar apps to it. Then basically Google will notify you if there's any change to the price. Auto update apps over Wi-Fi. So you can get this, say for example, you have a small storage um, on your phone, I would always say put it the do not auto update app. So it means that it's not going to update automatically, but you can pick and choose the applications that you want to update. Um, because every time that you're doing an application update, it's using more and more storage on your phone. Um, auto update apps at any time data charges may apply. So that will use your data plan. I don't keep that on. Auto update uh, over Wi Fi, I keep that on. So then the next option here is add icon to home screen. So basically once I download a application, it will put it onto the main screen of my phone. Just to let me see that I have that new application. You can switch that on and off. You can clear your local search history just by hitting that little button. Parental controls, you can go in here. So if your kids are using your phone, you can turn this on. You can give it a pin. So we'll just put four zeros. And type that in again. And then we can go through music, magazines, TV, films, and apps and games. So what we get here is age category. So the Peggy written is basically the age. So as you can see, Peggy 3 is the most restrict restrictive. So it's only going to allow basically applications that are going to be suitable for three year olds and under. But 
you can select which one that you want to use. And say for example, somebody uh, in your household is using your phone, selects an application over the age of 12, it will basically ask them for that pin code. So remember that that pin code is the one that you are using, keep that secure. Okay, we're just gonna hit the save button. And you would basically do the exact same for films, TV, magazines, and music. I'm just gonna switch that back off and come out of there. Go back down to our settings and um, require authentic authentication for purchases. Um, no, I don't keep that on. So basically it will notify you if an application has been downloaded um, or paid for. So I, ju I just keep that off. And that's basically it. That is how you use the Google Play Store on your Android device. If you find this video helpful in any way, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, then please subscribe to my channel. Until next time, guys, you have been watching Supreme Guru. Peace.